Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The video I'm going to share with you today is a video that has been highly requested and actually a video that I have been wanting to do for a long time. In fact, this is actually my second time filming this video. I filmed it back in January and then when I had my technical difficulties, um, I actually lost the footage so I've had to re-film it. But today I'm going to share with you my entire Zootopia pin collection. I have quite a large Disney pin collection. I think I've probably got somewhere between 16 and 1700 Disney pins now, which is crazy. I am working on downsizing it, but a significant chunk, significant-ish chunk of my Disney pin collection is my Zootopia collection. Zootopia is one of my favorite Disney movies. Judy Hopps is one of my all-time favorite Disney characters. She's kind of my, my Disney hero in many ways. And today I have filmed my entire collection, which did not fit on one one board. I actually had to grab um, a second smaller board to get all of my pins in one place and I'm going to share them all with you. When I counted, I counted 119 Zootopia pins total and one of the reasons I want to share this video with you aside from the fact that many of you have requested to see this collection is I am actually flirting with the idea of downsizing my Zootopia collection by a lot. I mean I'm definitely downsizing my pin collection quite a bit this year that's kind of in process and I'm hoping to do a big chunk of that this summer but even though I love Zootopia and this collection has been a huge labor of love and also money um, I don't know I just have this fantasy of having fewer pins that I love and enjoy rather than so many pins that I love but there's just too many of them to be able to actually enjoy them. Does that make sense? So I wanted to get them all in one video before I maybe start sending some of them away, either for sale or for trade. So without further ado, I'm gonna flip my camera around and I'm gonna show you all of my Zootopia Disney pins. And uh, it's quite a collection, so I hope you enjoy it. All right, so I've got my uh, two pin boards here with my entire Zootopia pin collection, and I'm gonna talk you through them kind of in some detail. And I'm gonna start on my big board with probably my most heavy-hitting Zootopia pin. This is the Judy Hopps WDI Heroin Profile pin. She's probably the hardest pin to, uh, to get a hold of, or at least to afford in my collection, but I really do love her. She'll be a keeper for forever. Then I have the Wish You Were Here Zootopia postcard. That's from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. The Zootopia character block. This is also from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. I really like this one and I like that some of the characters are sideways on it. This Zootopia film strip was a Disney Studio Store Hollywood online release. I love that it has Assistant Mayor Bellwether included on that one. This pin was released at the Love is an Adventure pin event in Epcot in 2017. I like the uh, rubberized big donut. Whenever there's a donut on a pin, it makes it extra special in my book. This pin here is an open edition. It's a design that I really like. It's Judy chasing Nick, and I love the kind of stylized Zootopia skyline in the back. And then right next to it, I've got this little cutout Judy, and that was released by, I think, AMC Theaters when the movie came out. There's also a Nick Wilde and Flash pin that are similar to this Judy one. Um, and I think I have the Nick one somewhere. I just couldn't find him. I, I don't know what happened to him. And then the Flash pin from this set is actually quite hard to find. I think it was much more rare than Nick and Judy. And then finally up here in the corner, I've got two Assistant Mayor Bellwether pins. On the left is the Bellwether Cutie. That's a Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin. And this one here on the right is a Chinese Zodiac pin, and I believe this one is WDI. They're both really, really nice pins. Moving on down to the second row, I've got another WDI pin. This is the Zootopia character cluster. It's a nice pin-on-pin -pin with some of the uh, supporting characters on it. This train pin is from Hong Kong Disneyland. It's part of a whole set. Of course, the Judy car is the only one that I have, but I really love the little details on the bottom. And um, I love trains in general, so of course it's one of my favorites in my Zootopia collection. I also really like this one. This is from the Shanghai Disney Resort, and it's actually a spinner, and it's got quite a few different Zootopia characters. And it spins like this. I love that it has a Clawhauser on it. Clawhauser is one of my favorite supporting characters in Zootopia. Also from Shanghai, I've got Judy and Nick bobblehead pins. Actually, Judy's um, little body kind of wiggles side to side, and then Nick's head bobbles side to side. And then he's, of course, got these little um, 
popsicles and I like the finish on that part of the pin. Next to them I have another pair of Nick and Judy pins. These are from the Hong Kong Disneyland Emoji pin tin mystery set and these were actually gifted to me by my friend Allie over at the Miss Allie Cake. She pulled these in a pin unboxing and she mailed them to me because she knows I love Nick and Judy and um, I opened some of these tins myself but did not get these pins so it was very nice of her to uh, to gift these to me. This one here featuring Judy and Nick in the Zeppelin is also from Hong Kong and it's got a little um, moving element that kind of rock side to side. I like the glitter on the Zeppelin although I'm not sure what the deal is with this design because you never actually see this in the movie. This is a fantasy pin of Gazelle. I like her little glitter embellishments. A subscriber sent this to me. And um, this is also a fantasy pin of Yaks, the yoga teaching Yak. He's wearing a little um, set of mala beads. A subscriber sent this to me as well. And because I'm a yoga teacher in real life, I, I always get a kick out of Yaks the Yak pins. Moving on to the next row, I have this pin. This is a patriotic Judy Hopps pin. This was released by the Disney Studio Store in Hollywood last 4th of July. Also a Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin and probably one of my favorites in my collection. This is the beloved Tales Zootopia pin. And I love it because it's such an unusual piece of Zootopia art. You almost never see them in this pose. You never see her in her farmer girl bunny shirt. It's just kind of a unique uh, moment and it's not featured on any other Zootopia pin that exists as far as I know. These next three pins all came together in a boxed set released by Shop Disney UK. I really like this set. It was kind of hard to get a hold of for a while. One of my subscribers um, in Europe was kind enough to pick this up for me. But I love Nick and Finnick in front of the Jumbo Pop. Then you've got Mr. Big with a couple of his um, henchmen, the polar bear henchmen, and then you've got Judy in front of her badge. So these three were were a set and I really do like them all together. This is pretty common art, but these two you don't see as often. Then we have this fun and adorable and very pink pin. It's Fru Fru the Shrew in her wedding dress, sitting in the big donut with a little heart in the background. This is part of that set that came out, I think, for um, a shop Disney store anniversary. I can't totally remember what that pin set was about, but, but they came in sets of three on little cards and uh, this was the uh, the Zootopia one and I, and I liked it because it's a very kind of underused character in terms of pins and merchandise. These next four pins are all from Disneyland Paris. They're all pin trading night pins. So you've got Finnick and Yaks the yoga teaching Yak. And then of course, Judy and Flash that I just showed. But um, I think there are actually six Zootopia pin trading night pins total, but I just have um, these four. I know I'm missing Nick and I think I'm missing Chief Bogo as well. I'm not sure I'll complete this set. I've actually considered trading this set away or selling it. And over here on the end, I've got this set of three Shop Disney and Disney Store pins. It's kind of like these three emoji lenticular style pins. I honestly think these are quite strange. They're not my favorite, but I do have the set and at least Judy looks happy. The other two look kind of strange. On to the next row. This pin was a surprise release at the Pins Giving pin trading event around Thanksgiving time last year out in California. I really like this one because I love fall. It's my favorite season. Of course, Judy is like jumping in a pile of leaves. This little pin right here featuring Nick and a pin trading lanyard is actually from uh, a pin trading event in Hong Kong. This one actually glows in the dark and it's got a cool rubberized element. So I like that one. And then the next four are stained glass pins. I love stained glass pins that came in a boxed set from that same um, pin trading nights event. And they're really cool. I like stained glass pins in general and I just think it's kind of like a neat, unique little Zootopia set. I really do like those ones. The next eight pins I will show you are kind of the pride and joy of my entire Zootopia collection. It's all the Zootopia PTDs or Pin Traders Delight pins. So we've got Judy, Nick, the Nick Wild one was, was especially challenging to get a hold of, um, Finnick with a Jumbo Pop, Mayor Lionheart with a Root Beer Float, You've got Clawhauser with a Sunday. This was the most recent uh, Zootopia Pin Trader Delight release. I really like that one. It's also one of the biggest ones. Then we've got the very minor character, Jerry Jumbo Jr. We have Assistant Mayor Bellwether being very much of an overachiever with her multiple stacks of ice cream cones. And finally, Chief Bogo, and he also appears to be sipping a root beer float. Whatever I decide to do with the rest of my Zootopia collection, because I am thinking of downsizing, I will be keeping 
the PTDs for forever. I just think these are so cool. I want to always be a Zootopia Pin Trader Delight completist. And I know there's a few more uh, Zootopia PTD releases on the horizon, so I'm keeping my eyes peeled for those. These three pins in frame right now are all open edition pins currently available in the US parks. You can find these uh, in the parks pretty easily, pretty common. These two pins here, the Nick and Judy head pins, were released um, by theaters in Europe when the movie was released over in Europe and the UK, and I think it was called Zootropolis over there because there's actually a real zoo in Europe called Zootopia. So in order not to have any uh, confusion, uh, the Zootopia film was released under the title Zootropolis in the UK, and these are two of three pins that they were giving out um, in some of the theaters. And then the third pin is actually uh, this one right here, and you can see it says Zootropolis on it. So these three were given away. Um, as a set, as far as I know. These next two pins I absolutely love. These are from Hong Kong Disneyland. They feature Nick and Judy in the uh, Wonderland teacups, the Mad Tea Party attraction uh, teacup vehicles. And these were available as part of a purchase with purchase mystery pin set. These were hard to get a hold of for a while, but now I think they're they're a little bit easier, but I just think that the glitter makes them extra beautiful. These Nick and Judy Easter eggs were also released in a Hong Kong Disneyland mystery pin set last spring, last Easter-ish. I wish that Judy had her ears, and I wish that Nick had his ears as well, so they're, they're honestly not my favorite pins, but I was excited that I was able to unbox them. And this pin right here is another one of my favorites, probably in my whole Zootopia collection. It's a jumbo pin trading night pin from um, the event that released these, but it's huge. It's got many supporting uh, characters, and then at the top, the characters on top kind of sway side to side. It says pin trading nights, there's glitter, and uh, Judy's got her lanyard, and there's just like a lot going on in this pin. It's really, really quite a cool pin. These Judy and Nick pins are both fantasy pins, and I love that there's like both flowers and treats surrounding both Judy and Nick. These were designed by my friend Amy. And then the next several pins, Judy, Nick, Flash, Clawhauser, Gazelle, Bellwether, these are all from a relatively recently released booster pack that is still available in the American parks, to the best of my knowledge. This cute little Judy right here is dressed as a turnip, which is kind of hilarious. This was, I think, a prize in one of the games in Hong Kong Disneyland, so you had to win her, and I was able to, I think, purchase her, trade with her from someone in, um, someone in Hong Kong, but she's itty bitty, and she's really cute, and she's dressed as a vegetable, and just like all the other pins from that set, they're, they're pretty fun. This one I mentioned earlier, it was released uh, by theaters in the, in the UK, I think, and in Europe when it was released overseas. Now this pin is actually pretty hard to find. This is the Gardens of the World Epcot Tour pin that was being given away last summer, last flower and garden season, and you could only get it by taking the Gardens of the World Tour and so I saw that this was the kind of pin that they were giving away and I signed up to take the tour. And then at the end of the tour, they gave me a pin that wasn't this one. They gave me a Mickey and Minnie one. And I was so, so disappointed. So I don't know what happened there, but I was able to actually eventually trade with someone for this online. And it's beautiful and I'm so glad I have it, but this I think uh, remains one of the more challenging Judy Hopps and Zootopia pins to get because it's kind of mysteriously disappeared. I also have this Judy Hopps Flower and Garden Festival 2017 pin. This was released in um, a four pack, a limited edition four pack. And unfortunately, this pin has been highly faked. So when you look on eBay right now, there's a bunch of these available, but um, they're all really cheap and most of them are unfortunately fake. This one I got actually in the package with the other three pins from the set. I actually still have the whole set, so I know it's real and authentic, but to find the real one is pretty tricky because there are unfortunately a lot of fakes floating around out there. This Judy pin is also kind of a fun one and a little bit difficult to find. This was a cast member limited release, uh, only available for cast members right around the time that the movie was released in theaters, so it's a little bit difficult to find and very often you can buy it, but it's a, a bit on the pricey side. I do like her though. And this pin right here that's smushed up against the edge of Judy and Nick is actually from Disneyland Paris. And this was released in Disneyland Paris kind of around the time that the movie had first come out in theaters. And it's no longer available, although it was an open edition. It's still pretty hard to find. Easter must be just around the corner or something because I also have these two Judy and Nick Easter eggs. These are from a mystery pin set that was released uh, in Shanghai. And I like these Easter eggs a little bit better than these ones because each of the characters has their ears and tail still intact. I just think these turned out cuter. So if I had to like 
pick one pair of Easter eggs only. I, I like this pair a little bit better. These next three pins are from the uh, Shop Disney Park Pack limited edition pin subscription that was happening last year. So we've got Gazelle, uh, we've got the framed pin and my variant that arrived in my box was Nick and Judy, so I feel like I lucked out. There was also a flash pin and I think a Mr. Big pin. I'd still like to collect those, maybe all, all the middle variants. And then we've got the stained glass one over here and it actually features Judy Hopps' parents. Um, and this is the only pin, as far as I know, that featured the parents. So I really like this pin as well. It's kind of unique. This pin here is also one of my all-time favorite Zootopia pins. It's also got kind of a little Eastery vibe happening. This is from Hong Kong Disneyland. It's from a Disney pin trading event, the Springtime uh, Pin Trading Carnival. And I love this one because it's got um, glitter, it's got pin on pin, it's got Nick and Judy, it's got treats, it's got a train, They've, they're wearing pin lanyards. There's just a lot of really cool elements uh, in this one. These two badges here are also from Hong Kong. I believe these are open edition, but I really like the subtle glitter embellishments on each of them. Very nice looking pins. This Zootopia street sign is a Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin. I like the little outline of Nick on the crosswalk and the uh, skyline in the background. I just really like all the Studio Store Hollywood pins that, that um, that they've come out with for Zootopia, with the exception of this one. Um, this is actually the El Capitan Theater ticket stub pin, and I love the design, but this thing costs an arm and a leg, and honestly, it's one of the tiniest pins in my entire Zootopia collection. It's like itty bitty compared to the rest of them, um, but it's very rare and hard to find, and I just imagined when I saw pictures of it that it would be like big and beautiful, but it's actually like kind of teeny and underwhelming, so that was annoying. This is a unique pin from Hong Kong Disneyland. You've got Judy sleeping with her carrot and she's dreaming of Nick and he's kind of in this little like dream bubble with glitter. This is a whole series of pins. I have several other pins from this uh, this pin series and they're all equally cute. And the last pin on my big board is a Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin. It's the El Capitan Theater uh, Hollywood marquee pin. The marquee pins are quite collectible and it says Disney's Utopia and you've got Nick and Judy and they're kind of pin on pin. This one's also a bit rare and hard to find. So that's it for the big board and now I'm gonna move on over to the smaller board, which also has some really wonderful and special and uh, rare and hard to find pins on it. The first two pins on my little board are two um, badges. These came out at the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. We've got um, Judy Hopps and also Chief Bogo. These are kind of interesting. They're, they're not my favorite, honestly, but they are large in size and quite hefty. This one here is another uh, Easter pin, another jumbo pin. This is from the Shanghai Disney Resort. I think last Easter season, it says happy hopping and you've got Nick and Judy in their egg form with some kind of glittery eggs behind them which I like and then it says happy hopping and you've got three dangly uh, Easter charms down below it's kind of a fun one but I don't know I just feel like I'm not as into Easter as I should be for all of the Easter pins that um, that I have for Zootopia I like this next pin a lot it's quite large in size it's a Zootopia photo strip this was released at the uh, pins giving pin trading event out in California last fall. And I just really like how Nick and Judy look here. You've got them in some slightly different uh, facial expressions and poses than you normally see them. So I, I particularly like this pin. This um, metal shaped pin is from Hong Kong Disneyland. I'm not sure if this was for a pin event or a racing event or exactly what this was. I love the look of it, but it's dated and it doesn't really mean anything to me. So I don't know, I'm kind of mixed on this one. This one I can see myself maybe trading away. Here in the upper right hand corner I've got an itty bitty little Judy Hopps notebook. This is from the uh, Magical Mystery Pin Pouches. This came out I think last fall, like late summer or fall, and um, I think I traded for her because I was not lucky enough to open her up in, in the pouches that I purchased. And then here I've got this cool little Zootopia like police badge replica, and this actually came out in Tokyo. This is a Tokyo Disney Zootopia pin. The next several pins I'm going to show you are all open edition pins from the Shanghai Disney Resort. They've had a lot of really nice open edition Zootopia pin releases in the last year or so. So we've got a Judy t-shirt. She says, don't even. And we've got Clawhauser with his donut. I really love this. We have Flash on a green t-shirt with a shooting star in the background. And next to the Flash t-shirt, we've got this unique one. It's in the shape of Judy's carrot pen and it's got her little face on a badge on it. It's just kind of really unique amongst 
the Zootopia pins that have been released. I get kind of a kick out of this one. Also from Shanghai, in open edition, we have the Nick Wilde t-shirt. I love the colors on this. He's got a little rainbow. They just look like little retro vintage tees. I just think they're kind of a fun and random design for Zootopia pins, but I like them a lot. They're, they're cute. And then finally, from my open edition Shanghai set, we've got this Zootopia notebook. It's got little like uh, coils in it. And it's actually magnetized closed, and when you open it up, you see Nick and Judy running, but they're like also online notepaper, like someone had actually sketched this. It's just so dang cute. This pin is from this past holiday season in the United States. It's Nick and Judy building a snowman version of Nick Wilde, and Nick is like really not impressed by how it turned out. I just think this pin is really funny. I hate that it's dated. I hate that it says 2018 as large as it does, but I just love the overall design of this pin. It's just clever, and it makes me smile, and it's also pin on pin. It's got some nice glitter. It's like weirdly one of my faves. This little one down here is a rehash of the same artwork that we always see, but this one is from Tokyo Disney. I I think my only two Tokyo Zootopia pins are this one and this little badge that I showed you earlier. And there's like one other one that exists that I um, haven't been able to get a hold of yet. And then here we have what might be the cutest set of hidden Mickeys ever. These were released in Shanghai. And we've got Judy, Nick, Finnick, Flash, Clawhauser, and Mr. Otterton, who you never see on any pins, um, all as like little latte characters. I love this set. The pins are tiny. They're so adorable. Also from Shanghai, I have this complete set of slightly larger, uh, less adorable hidden Mickeys. I mean, they're still cute. Like, look at that face. He's so cute. But instead of Mr. Otterton and Finnick, you have Bellwether and Lionheart. I actually really like both sets of hidden Mickeys. I think the, the lattes are super cute, but this one turned out nice as well. And I think just slightly different, just a little different set of pins there. And I have another set down below. This is actually a mystery pin set. I think these were from Shanghai. Let me just double check. Yep, Shanghai Disney Resort, and you've got all of the characters sitting on donuts. You can have some donuts with your lattes. Kind of strange, the obsession with putting character heads on donuts, but I still think that they turned out really cute. I actually do not have the complete set. I am missing... Who am I missing? I'm missing Lionheart and Flash. I think I'm missing two, just Lionheart and Flash. And I probably will still try to complete this mystery set. So if you have Lionheart or Flash and you want to trade with me, let me know, please. And now I'm just down to three more pins to show you in my collection. This is the Zootopia Lunchtime Tales pin. This was released last year at Walt Disney World. Um, so you've got all the Zootopia characters on the front of a lunchbox. They all look great there. It looks like the movie poster. And then you open it up, and inside you've got some Zootopia-themed food. So you've got a ZPD thermos with a Chief Bogo's horn. You've got a donut, of course, some carrots, some popsicles, and some peanuts for... Um, the the elephants, Jerry Jumbo Jr., etc. Really, really cute pin. I love the whole Lunchtime Tales series. I actually have the whole Lunchtime Tales series. And then the final two pins in my Zootopia collection, as far as I know, um, are these two. It's uh, Finnick as a sheet ghost and Judy as a sheet ghost. And these are both from Hong Kong Disney, and they both glow in the dark. They came out for Halloween, obviously. They're super adorable. And what I love the most is that they have little treat buckets that are in the shape of of their own heads. Kind of kind of strange, but really, really cute. So I really love them. And that, as far as I know, is my entire Zootopia pin collection. Lots of doozies on here, lots of heavy hitters. I don't have all of them. I'm not a Judy completist or a Zootopia completist, and there are a few pins out there that I actually really would still like to get a hold of, but I think I'm pretty satisfied for the most part with this collection. Well, if you've made it this far, that was almost my entire Zootopia pin collection. I actually realized after filming that that I missed two, which actually brings the total up to 121 Zootopia pins. So let me show you the final two. I think it's the final two that I have in my stash right now. This is actually a um, like a pin trading game board and this is from Hong Kong Disneyland and two of I think 10 pins in the entire set were attached when you purchased this. So I've got Nick Wilde in his little vehicle and then I've got a Zootopia giraffe in a giraffe vehicle and I actually collect giraffe pins so even when I trade some things away I'm probably going to keep this one because not only is it Zootopia but it's also a giraffe so it kind of 
kills two birds with one stone, if you will. So that's number 120 and number 121. And this is a 10 pin set. These are the only two pins that I have. For a while, I wanted to get my hands on all of these, but like I said, I'm, I'm trying to downsize a little bit, so I've kind of let go of the goal of collecting this uh, pin board. And that really is all of them. And even though I'm gonna start downsizing, there are still a few Zootopia pins out there that I do hope to acquire at some point. A couple of them I mentioned in my video, and like I said, they're still coming out with more good ones, and every once in a while, one really catches my eye. So I've got a couple still on my wish list, even though I'm mostly going into downsizing mode. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a comment down below and let me know which of these Zootopia pins were your favorites. Leave one or two or three or four or five. I'd love to know which ones you thought were the best. Maybe it'll help me in my decision-making process. And also, if you own any of these Zootopia pins, please let me know if we are hashtag pin twins down in the comment section. I'm really looking forward to reading the comments in this video. Please be nice. I know I'm a crazy kook with pins, but um, please be nice to me because uh, it's, it's a passion project of mine for sure. That's it for today's video. I would love to know if you'd be interested in seeing more chunks of my pin collection collection, like my Snow White collection, or my Cats collection, or my Dogs collection, or my Tiki Room collection, or or who knows what else. You guys know what I collect probably better than I do at this point. I just have so many, which is why I need to downsize. But I'd love your suggestion for pin videos down in the comment section as well. And I'll be back really soon with more Disney vlogs, unboxings, pin videos, probably some tip videos. I know I keep saying that, but they are coming uh, in the near future. And until then, have a magical day. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. Mwah.